Light room users have a dilemma. Do you go for the power and efficiency of Lightroom Classic or enjoy having all your images available everywhere using Lightroom, the web first version? Well, maybe there's a way to get the best of both worlds. Hello, I'm Rod Lawton and this is a video for amateur photographer on using Lightroom Classic with Adobe Creative Cloud Storage. There are two versions of Lightroom, not one. Do you use the desktop-based Lightroom Classic where all your images are stored on your own computer? Or do you use the newer cloud version where all your photographs are available everywhere on any device? There are pros and cons to both. It's extremely useful to have all your photos available in the cloud and for your adjustments to be synchronized across all your devices. But Lightroom, that's the cloud version, has drawbacks. The first is the cost. The extra one terabyte package you'll need for an image collection of any size is around $10 or £10 a month. Others are that its organisational tools are pretty stripped back compared to Lightroom Classics, and it doesn't work with any plugins or external editors except Photoshop. But can you have the best of both worlds? All the organisational power and cost effectiveness of Lightroom Classic, but with your best images available and editable online? Well, I think you can, and here's how. Lightroom Classic will sync your photos with your creative cloud storage, but not all of them, and only in a limited sort of a way. But for many photographers, including me, this will be all they need. So the first step is to make sure your Lightroom Classic catalog is hooked up to your creative cloud storage plan, you get 20 gigabytes as standard with your regular photography plan, and while this won't be anywhere near enough for a full-size photo library in Lightroom, that's the web version, not the classic version, it doesn't need to be. I'll get onto that in a moment. You can set up Lightroom Sync in the Lightroom Classic Preferences panel. There's also a cloud icon in the far right corner of the top menu bar, and you can use this to check the current sync status. Be aware though that you can only sync one Lightroom Classic catalogue with your creative cloud storage, so this works best on your single main catalogue. Now this step doesn't automatically sync your Lightroom Classic catalogue with the cloud, it simply enables this feature. There's another step. So Lightroom Classic's cloud sync is a kind of limited and it is manual. You can only synchronize individual collections. You can't synchronize folders, smart collections, or collection sets. How bad a limitation is this? It might sound like a deal breaker, but it's worth giving it some thought. If you already use collections to organize your best work, it's a simple matter to sync these so that these collections are available in the cloud. Syncing a collection could hardly be easier. With Cloud Sync enabled, every collection has a sync checkbox to its left, which you just need to click. You get the sync option in the new collection dialog too. Lightroom will now sync the contents of the current collection, creating an album of the same name online. Better still, any changes or additions you make to these photos in Lightroom Classic will automatically be synchronized with the online version and vice versa. Now, there is another limitation to this, but this can actually work in your favor. With the web version of Lightroom, your original images are stored in the cloud. That's why you need to pay for extra storage. But that's not how Lightroom Classic's Cloud Sync works. In fact, Lightroom Classic does not sync the original image, but a smart preview instead. This is a bespoke Lightroom file format that offers all the editability of the full res image and can store and synchronize these edits, but in a smaller, lower resolution format. How much lower? Well, until you zoom in, you might not even notice. The resolution of smart previews is easily enough for even quite detailed editing, and enough also for sharing images to social channels or for use on websites. The advantage of these smart previews is that they don't gobble up online storage. In fact, as far as I can ascertain, they don't contribute towards your online storage limits at all. 
this seems curious, but if it means I don't have to worry about how many Lightroom Classic collections I sync to the cloud, I'm not going to ask too many questions. With this approach, you can still use Lightroom Classic to do all your day-to-day -day heavy lifting and organization, and use Lightroom for managing your portfolio or working on selected images while you're on the move. It's not just useful while you're out and about though. The Adobe Photography Plan comes with both versions of Lightroom, and the web first version is the perfect tool for checking over and organizing the images you've synced from Lightroom Classic. Don't forget that the mobile versions of Lightroom are free on Android and iOS devices. And what you may not be aware of is that you can also carry out some basic but useful editing and organizing work in a web browser. As long as you have your Adobe login, you can work on any computer anywhere without Lightroom even having to be installed. Both Lightroom Classic and Lightroom have strong advantages, and it looks like you have to choose between one or the other. But actually, I think you can use them both together. That's what I do anyway. So, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.